hey guys what's up it's like really bright here so it's kind of like washing me out and blinding me honestly but um whatever um i am okay hi what's up okay so i mentioned something on my i i really thought things could be different like i really thought you know we could do something different um and before i get into everything i'm going to preface this video with the fact that because i always have to remind like the non-rats that i'm not referring to them because some of you guys even though i love you are very like sally in wisconsin you know what i mean vibes and which is fine like get off of my page i don't care if you're offended like i don't care um but like you get offended easily and i don't care and like you need to be able to understand if i'm speaking to you or not okay period like leave me alone anyway i really thought things could be different and i thought we could just do some vlogs together um the vlogs get a lot more traction like you guys love the vlogs like the money is better with the vlogs because you guys like watch the vlogs more but the thing is i don't care i will defend myself until the motherfucking end yes i have a broken nail yes i do i have a broken nail i was almost not gonna film today because this is so ghetto like oh my god it's so horrible anyway so um actually it's giving white trash to be honest anyway so here we go um so i really thought things could be different like you guys loved the first vlog that i had coming back and then i made another vlog and you guys loved it too but like the thing is with vlogs um i'm very i i don't care like i know i'm not ugly i know i'm definitely like top you know whatever percent it doesn't it's not the point i you guys know i think i'm better than everyone I've done a video on it where if you don't think you're better than everyone, then there's something like, like there's a problem that you don't, you know, and why, like, why don't you think you're better than everyone? Like you should. And if you don't, that's on you because I, I do think I'm better than most. Okay. Then, then a lot of people like then the, then, then the average and the above average and the, and, and hugely average person, I'm better than them. Okay. So basically I'm better than 99% of the people. And that's like, that's just how I feel. And if you don't feel like that, that's not like, there's, that's something that you should like, there's like, there's a reason for it because you probably aren't. And you, like, that is, that's the truth. Okay. Anyway. So, anyway, um, this is the thing, like, I really just wanted to be able to do some vlogs with you guys because as you know, I'm seven months pregnant. Okay. As you know, I'm seven months pregnant. Okay. As you know, I'm seven months pregnant. Okay, as you know, I'm seven months fucking pregnant, you idiot. Yes, and I'm yelling. I'm not going to try to yell a lot. She's healthy. You think I'm going to raise a little bitch? No. Think I'm going to raise a little fucking little rat like you who's going to fucking come on here and try and fuck me up? Fuck you. Okay, so anyway, um, let me just say that I didn't want to do these lists anymore because I'm seven months pregnant, okay? And the reason I said that so many times for the retards in here is because you're taking screenshots of me when I'm doing, like when I did that stupid fucking H&M try on with you in my literally encampment, I'm living in a fucking encampment right now because of all the construction going on in my house. And I don't care. Like, I'm just showing you guys, like, what I bought. I'm not editing anything. I'm just, like, put... Anyway, some fucking rat or whatever, or rats, are, like, taking screenshots and calling me fat, which is fine. Like, the thing is, is I don't care. I've... I've told you guys, I have been fat on here. I've been actually fat. I'm not fat right now. I'm pregnant. And yes, I'm fat, but I'm pregnant fat. It's a little different, okay? So they're, ta they're taking pictures of me, screenshots, and it's inaccurate. So I will come on here and I will defend myself from these little beggar, feces, encrusted asshole rats until the day I die, okay? Because you're not going to get it misconstrued. You're not going to come on here and and leave turds on my page of comment, rude comments and think that I'm not going to address them and put you in your place. And also, I'm going to let you know this. There are a lot of celebrities. I'm not a celebrity, but there are so many celebrities out there or like um, influencers, bigger than me, not bigger than me, whatever, who take your shit. They love to take your shit and they eat it with a spoon and they, they eat it with a smile. I will never be like that. Just because I, look at my hand, it's a different color. <laughs> okay, I got to, okay. Just because I 
am a like because I have a following you think I have to be nice to you is that what you think that you can come and abuse me you can I don't know who you are from Adam I don't know it's like it, you're acting like I've personally come and attacked you which is a different thing and I have it I don't even know you so you come on my page you are an evil fuck to me and you think I'm gonna let you get away with it that's what you think so I will never let that happen it is the inaccuracies, okay, of, of this kind of bullshit that I will not let go, okay? You can come on here and say I'm fat, this and that. The, th the thing is that it's not fair that you say that because I'm fucking, I'm going to say it again, like a fucking broken record because you're so retarded, okay, that you need to be, you need, you need some kind of like help, you know what I mean, to, for like, to remember, to understand something that I'm seven months pregnant okay so it's not and by the way i don't hide that in fact you guys have seen me through my fat years you've seen me through my really skinny years you've seen me through everything you can say that i've had plastic surgery it's not true i have never missed a week and if people with and i know i have had plastic that's not true on my face i did have lipo you guys know that i took you through the whole thing you so you cannot try and like say shit to me that or you can't try to put stuff about that i will like it's not true okay so anyway this really bothered me because I wanted to do these vlogs more, but the, you're like, this is the thing too with me. I don't edit my videos. I will just put up what I have. I don't edit videos. I don't, I think it's just so much more organic. I think it's so much more fun. Just to like, I'm, I'm sitting here chatting with you guys as far as even when I do vlogs, I don't edit shit out. I just put what I have up the clips. I don't even really watch it. Like I don't even really watch anything. I just, I just film and put things up. And I think that's actually like a really, that's so much more fun than like someone who's like trying to like make their house all perfect and like make their like, their like, you know, hair all perfect and stuff like that. And then putting it up, which is basically 100% of the internet. Okay. I don't do that. And then you guys come for me. So it's not really fun because yeah, I'm raw and I don't care, but it's the inaccuracies. Like I, if you guys were to film, you guys don't understand too. If you were to film, especially at my age, at I'm 39 years old, like you would never put it up because you're ugly. Okay. Even if you're younger than me, you're uglier than me. I'm telling you right fucking now, it's very difficult to compete with me. Okay. Very difficult on so many fronts to compete with me and I'm not blind and I'm not stupid. So it's the truth. Okay. You can come on here and tell me I'm fat and ugly. It's not true, okay? But it's when the inaccuracies happen, when people start reposting pictures of me looking fat, like in angles where I don't really look pregnant and they're just calling me fat, I'm not gonna fucking stand for it. I will come on here, okay, and remind your fucking ugly ass loser, you fucking section eight piece of shit, loser ass rat, okay? Without a pot to piss in, probably can't even fucking pay a damn bill, and you're gonna come on here and, and you're going to try and, to, and spread inaccuracies about me. That's what you think you're gonna do. It will never happen, okay? Sit your fucking ass down, know your place. Know your damn place, okay? Your place is not fucking post inaccuracies about me. You can if you want, but it's inaccurate. And know that you're doing it. That's the thing that sucks. Like, you're just lying. You're just dumb and you're lying, okay? So that's what I wanna do, first thing. I just wanna say, I will be doing vlogs more because I know you guys like them. And I wanna do what you like, but at the same time, and I'm not going to edit them, but I want you guys to understand that like, there are like realities and not realities to this, okay? First of all, I just fucking film whatever I want and I put it up. So it's, you guys are lucky. Like you guys think that like reality shows, like whatever, the Kardashians, I'm just thinking of something, you know, something like reality show. A reality shows, no, like it's so set up, it's so perfect. Like I actually just, just fucking film, like literally taking a shit in the toilet. Like I don't care, you know what I mean? Like I actually don't care. And that's another thing too. I, I don't care that you guys think that whatever you call me, call me fat. I don't care. If I cared, you think I would put that up? No, it's the inaccuracies, okay? That you are saying, I have like fucking damn people messaging me, stop, okay. So that's what I wanna put up. I might put up something later. I also wanna talk about something I'm so fucking pissed about. Look what this fucking cunt did to me, okay? First of all, I hate this arm. I, there, do you guys have like, I want to amputate this limb. It's, I've been like, I've hated this arm since I was a child. It has a lot, of, a lot of freckles on it and I don't like it. It's bigger than this arm. Like the, the wrist size is like half a, half an inch bigger, like two, like up now a quarter inch bigger. It's just a bigger arm and I hate it cause I have like freckles. I've actually had these two freckles removed before but they came back, it's so gross, I know. Do you see how I don't care? I will tell you the truth, okay? Anyway, 
look at what this fucking bitch did to me. I'm going to tell you guys the story. This is a from getting um, my blood taken. So I failed my first glucose test because they this bitch had the, the audacity. So whatever. When you're pregnant, you take a glucose test and it like says if you have gestational diabetes. And for me, it's um, um, diabetes equates to fat. If you're wow, I have like disgusting like spit in my mouth. Um, diabetes equates to fat so anyway I was like wow like I will never like I'm not gonna not pass this I'm not like unhealthy so of course I fucking failed my first my one hour glucose test this bitch had it out for me I'm not kidding this bitch is fucking retarded this bitch did something and I can be like oh my god Alex you're so crazy like no I'm not kidding did you see that mess she did to me did you see that mess she did to me okay so she did that to me is that does that look like someone who's experienced she sh took a shit or a piss in my blood I swear to fuck god I swear to god she did that how come then they made me come in so i when they told me i fucking failed my first glucose test, glucose test i was like okay listen i'm 39 years old i'm already a high-risk pregnancy um get me in like i need to get in like i please help me i'm not gonna wait another week like if i actually have something wrong with me i need to like i need to take care of this and know what to do like what am i doing anyway so they got me in the next day and i did like the three hour glucose test that was miserable it was miserable anyway the bitch did this to me on the third how come i pass my how come i pass the third the three hour glucose test the next day but i didn't pass my, my one hour glucose test same bitch fucking drew my blood she's a fucking bitch i'm not gonna get into it she is like like totally like dei higher like yes she is okay yes i said it does anyone else i don't care do you not see i don't care what you have to say get off of my page it's the truth okay she can hardly speak a fucking lick of damn english and she fucked up my arm so bad i asked her i was like please because she then she was going on she was going on my hands and i was like oh my god I like, can you not please can you please not go on my hands i know i'm gonna bruise she'll like, be really careful so she she did she kind of like whatever it's not a big deal i have two puncture wounds but she didn't bruise me thank god so then she went there like on the on the fat part of this this is this, like, why would she go there go here like are you that dumb the only thing you could you do is draw blood and you had to do that to me you had to make me fail my first glucose test because something's wrong with you and you did this to me does this show experience i'm pissed okay yeah, i'm pissed this has been uh, this is disgusting this is disgusting look at that is that fucking egregious like that's aggressive looks like a fucking disease okay so anyway i want to tell you guys about that i got a new pair of sunglasses um, and I'm gonna go into other things too. I just got these and I feel like these are very cute. I mean, I really love them I do wish that they weren't there at Tom Ford. I really I'll try to link them below for you or whatever Um, I, I think I have to link that lip purse to you guys. I just told you I would link the purse Um, but I didn't know so maybe I'll link it. I forget. Okay, so I got these. I don't like them. I don't like the way they come here right now But um, okay, am I looking like I'm looking like a, like trash I was thinking about these sunglasses so i was like you guys i'm so over this i don't know what to do like i just really for example like the other day i wanted to i had to go get some more like la acetane um i had to get some more la acetane of that it's like um oil like oil whatever for your body because like in the shower i like really oil my stomach up because i don't want any stretch marks and like so far so good like i haven't gotten anything but like i see some people <gasps> oh my god like literally what the fuck on like tiktok with the ugliest pregnant stomachs i've ever seen my like life like what the fuck like that is a curse like oh my god why why is your stomach like that there's like a big black line up the front like there's stretch marks everywhere i understand like i i don't know you guys if you're offended get off of my page i don't care every time i say something i have to fucking be thinking about every little fucking rat out there who gets offended i don't give a shit okay i don't give a flying goddamn fuck okay it's true okay what is with the fucking ugly pregnant pre pregnant stomachs i don't get it i get a lot of people have that i don't know so i'm just trying to i don't i've never been pregnant so i don't know i don't want to have that so i've been like getting all this oil like whatever like now that i said this maybe i'll get a stretch mark because i'm whatever because i'm bringing light to it either way i don't care so i had to get some more of that oil and I really love the idea, you guys, I really love the idea of just like being able to peruse a store like a Nordstrom without being harassed by these fucking vultures. Like how come every single fucking person has zero self-awareness and comes up to you and bothers you about can they help you? I, I'm telling you right now, do you know how, so what happened was I wanted to go, um, but I had literally have postponed going. I was going to order it online like three times because of that one problem. I just didn't, I wanted to, I wanted, I want so badly to just go around in like the makeup area and like just shop and like look at things and try things on my hand and just look at the new packaging and just buy some stuff without 
these fucking people harassing me about helping me and asking like what can they help me with can they like just I, this thing's the thing it stresses me out beyond belief when like because you guys know i'm like very i feel like i'm introverted or something i don't know like i don't mind when i meet you guys it's fine like as long as like it's not like gonna be an hour conversation <laughs> not that that's happened but you know what i mean like okay it just stresses me out but beyond belief when it's like it's constant like it's constant like it's not like just one person asks if they want you to help and then like the whole group there has been told this person has been asked leave them alone you know what i mean because that's an impossible thing to do right they wouldn't know so it's constantly like people coming up and asking me and, and and then i get to the point where i get so annoyed by it or overwhelmed whatever it is that i just don't i leave so anyway jason had an appointment at the apple store whatever for his phone so i was like okay i'm just gonna go and I'm gonna get the, the, as I need it. Like I was out of it. Um, so I went and sure, sure fucking thing. I was like trying to smell a diptyque candle and someone like ran up to me. Cause of course they wanted like the diptyque candle sale. They wanted like the commission for it, which I totally understand. But like, I, I you like, I can't, I can't even be here. Like I can't even, be. I just want to shop in fucking peace. You fucking, you vultures, you absolute vultures. Like I, I don't know what, what I have brought this up so many times that I, my shopping experience is constantly fucking destroyed by these people because they won't leave me alone to the point where I don't even want to go to the stores anymore because they are so fucking aggressive and I'm, I don't want to go, Like I don't want to fucking go. So I got that stupid thing and then I left. Like, it's all I got. I wanted to get like, I just wanted to get like something else. Like I wanted to go to the, I saw they had like Clarins and stuff and I like Clarins. For, like their oils and like i just wanted to like, get something else like i just wanted to like look around i want to like try on sunglasses but i could tell so the people at the sunglasses like this like, like the people at the sunglass like the sales girls sunglasses they were like like waiting like vultures on a branch to attack to ask if i needed help bitch leave me the fuck alone i swear to god i will buy so much more if you calm the fuck down and just get away get the fuck away from me okay get the fuck away from me get away from me with your fucking note oh and by the way they're very know-it-alls too I and mean, they love to come up and tell you what they know i was getting so much anxiety like i was literally just trying to find this law i could not find law because it was like in a really small area so i had asked someone so when i when i was looking around though i saw i heard this fucking woman like working there and she was like explaining something like 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 she was lecturing a customer on some product and it was like it's the cringiest shit I have ever heard in my life. Like I, 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 I gotten caught in that. Like, and the thing, the thing is, because I'm a chameleon, you guys know that. Like, I get caught in that, and I, I, I um, help them with their insanity. I don't, I, I don't bow out, exit out. I sit there, and I, I have to. I sit there, and I, um, am tortured okay i am tortured because they don't they don't see i'm not they're not a chameleon they are a self-centered fucking zero self-awareness piece of shit okay and they should see that i that there's this person is not really caring but they don't and because i overcompensate and add to their like i just i'm so i'm such a i'm just stop i hate myself i wish i want so badly just tell them to fuck off like i want to say just leave me alone that's what i want to say bye like i, I just want to be able to just to socially, that's a socially acceptable thing. Just to say bye. Just go away. Like, why are you so, you're so, you have zero self-awareness where you can, you see that like, you can tell that. Anyway, the other day, like, yes, it was like two days ago. My day was ruined because I really just wanted to like cruise around. And like, I just ended up like, I ended up like, like being very sad leaving because I wanted to just fucking shop a little bit, but I couldn't. Like I was forced to leave because they wouldn't leave me alone. Anyway. That's another thing I want to say. Um, but another thing I want to say is this, like, um, yeah. And then someone told me, like, because I understand, like, you guys, I'm like, when I, okay, I'm going to like go, I'm jumping around different things, but I'm like remembering things. So um, the thing is like the, the stupid comments. I read like a lot of stupid comments on the last videos, on, sorry, on like the, on the um, vlogs. Um, because like I told you, it's very vulnerable. Like I just put up what I have. I'll put the camera up and I'll just like, I don't care. Right. So I understand my hair was like not brushed. Like I wasn't like, I wasn't trying to look cute. I was sitting like this in the fucking car with, with no, with no bra talking to you guys, because I was actually very, I'm, you guys understand like when it gets to be around, like right now I'm okay. Like noon, it's like noon when it gets to be like two or three, it's over like i'm so in so much like not just pain just uncomfortableness like i'm in so i'm so uncomfortable my back's killing me 
she's like kicking me and I'm, I'm like she's like stretching my stomach out like I don't I feel very uh, like everything like my back sore it just sucks okay so like getting a position to like sit in is is like whatever either way I'm, I'm this is explaining to you do you think anyone in the right in the in, do you think anyone who gave a shit what they look like would sit like a fucking cow and now you guys are gonna fucking you're gonna screech out this now, i don't care but let's just talk about the accuracy of this i'm seven months pregnant you fucking loser okay you loser okay so do you think someone would sit like this in a car and talk to you guys like you know if they really cared what they fucking like looked like do you really think that i was actually just sitting there talking to you guys and the rats have to come for me and i'm I, it's fine they will they will always come for me but i will set the record straight that i am seven months pregnant okay i will set the record straight i'm not gonna like if i was a fat pig actually a fat pig i probably wouldn't say anything because like yes i'm fat okay but um anyway i just wanted to bring that up so like when I was like showing you guys my sunglasses, like my Cartier sunglasses that I bought, like the people, like you guys came for me. Like they came, they took like screenshots because was, the thing is like, I'm living in a fucking dump. Like I'm actually living in a dump right now. I am section eight. Like that's what I am. I am like, I know I'm a like, homeless. I'm living in a fucking, what's it called? Like in an encampment. Like that's what it looks like. Okay. There was like, I'm sitting on my bed. Like I had nowhere to put the fucking camera to film. I just put it up just to film with you guys. Like, I'm not trying to, like, you know, set something up. I understand that was a bad position. It was, like, coming from below me. Like, anyone filming from under is, like, not attractive. We know that. You always have to film from, like, the top. But I don't do that either. I don't care. And it's just, I'm not going to sit here and stand for it. I'm going to come here and defend myself. And if you think I'm going to raise a little fucking little bitch like you to get treated like scum, like Lana Del Rey, who goes to a fucking what's it called a grammy show a grammy award and gets kicked in the teeth and um and and gets it gets a, a shit thrown in her face if you think that i've the kind of person i'm gonna raise no i'm not she's gonna be raised to be um just like me hopefully she'll be just like me um so anyway anyway i posted a photo of her too we did the 4d and i um did that yesterday these are i love this this is my new necklace i think it's called the, sh um, the chandelier crosses and i'm wearing it backwards today on purpose so like on one side it's all glossy on the other side it's like pave crystals like simulated diamonds and then um i love this piece a lot of you guys have this one i will link it i love it this isn't a 17 inch and you can get it in with three crosses or one cross and i love to put this in here because like a little bit edgy and this is my 14k gold fill um it's my new lariat what's it called <sighs> forget i'll list i'll link it but um it's there's no clasp so you just like throw it over your head and then i like this shirt i got i just got this shirt from um nordstrom when i was there actually um and it has buttons all the way down but i just top the like, button too and i don't wear a bra i can't wear a bra like i, I know i can't um i can't wear a bra you guys it's, um, everything is too uncomfortable and i don't care enough my boobs aren't saggy you know what i mean they're fine like i could probably use a bra but like, this is the thing i don't care Okay, like I'm not like I'm already com uncomfortable enough where I can't be any more uncomfortable. I can't put a fucking bra on. Like, first of all, my tits are huge. I'm not gonna fucking buy bras. Like, I don't. I, the, I what am I gonna like a D? Like, I don't know. I'm not buying a bra. So, um, then I'm wearing my cascade. I love this. And then I'm wearing my drip earring over here with my serpents. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And so I wanted to just bring up something that I think is just like because I'm over 35 and I just feel like this is something that like. I've been wanting to bring up and because I see and I think it's because like I like when I went to Norton what kind of like triggered me <laughs> like I see like makeup girls that work there who are like my age or older they're like older or whatever and they have like because you know the thing is like when you're around makeup all day long you're constantly like reapplying right and like it's just like it just happens and then you look really cakey and shit like that and you guys can we not do that white eyeliner thing like you guys that fucking tart like that eyeliner that like cream eyeliner that people put like here can we just not do that like can we can we it's so obvious and it's not giving you clean girl look it's giving you cakey dirty disgusting um overly like oh, just too much like like it's not cute okay can we not do that also i want to have a tip for the um 35 and older crowd out there don't wear lip gloss you guys please please don't wear fucking lip gloss you guys so i haven't purchased lip gloss in a long time and I think I what did I buy I think I bought lip gloss like I don't know a couple months ago it's something I've been wanting to address and it's just really I'm here to tell you the truth and 
like what I do, you guys know, I ha like I'll take a lips and I'll smudge it. Like I'll take a color. First of all, I'll line my lips because you guys know I don't like the shape of my lips. So I will line my lips how I want, and then I'll take a color and I'll like smudge it into my mouth. So it looks like this is. I'm trying not to look like. This is the thing. When you are older, like I know I don't really look my age. I look younger. Like I've, I'm, I'm like whatever. It's true. Guys, but see, we, the thing is, like I don't come on here and I'm like, um, see, I look. I probably, I'm not sure. I look, look, dude. I know I look younger for my age. I'm not stupid. Like we're not gonna sit here and like, you know, like li like lie. Um, I also know when I'm fat. I can. I. I I'm not gonna like sit. Okay, I, I get it. I'm pregnant, fat right now. Like I'm fat, but I'm like not really fat because I'm pregnant. But I'm very self-aware, so you can't tell me things because I already know. Okay. So anyway, um, these people, the thing is that they're not told you, over 35 women should not wear any eyeshadows. Okay. Unless it's like in uh, their bronzer and they put like a little bit of like, they kind of like put it in their eyes too. Stop with the fucking colors, dude. Just stop. Okay. It doesn't look good anymore. It's, we're not like, it doesn't look good. Okay. It doesn't sit well on our skin. Okay. Um, and then as far as the lips, I'm telling you the truth, just take like a, either a lip stain or a, like a, a color that's close to like your lip color and smudge it on. Okay. And make it look like it's a part of your lips. Do not swipe lipstick or apply lipstick or wear, wear a color lipstick. Our skin, even though mine's probably better than the average 39 year old, whatever you guys, I know you're going to lie to yourself and say that's not true, even though it is true. Um, I still can't do that. Like I still am so I'm still am aware that like I'm not 20 anymore. You know what I mean? Like my skin is not 20 years old anymore. And I am very aware of that. So those are my tips for you. And if someone hasn't told you that, it's because they're probably a very rude person who works at the mall and is trying to make a sale. Okay. So um I'm here to tell you the truth. All right. And I'm telling you that if you're 20 and you want to wear whatever, like any, whatever, if you want to wear the white eyeliner, you can, but you look gross. You just look like dirty and it just, you look cakey. You know what I mean? Like, why do you want to look cakey? Like we know that, that it's not brightening your eyes. I can see the white. I can see the white crust on your fucking eye liner on your, on your waterline. I can see the crust. I can see, I can see it. It does not make your eye look open. It makes your eye look crusty, okay? You look very crusty, and that's the truth, and my hair is a mess. Um, okay, <laughs> I just wanted to get that out there. But um, anyway, I'm just going back on the, the whole thing once again with the vlogs. I will be doing vlogs again, but I just sucks because I like literally, I let you guys in in a different way than like other vloggers let you in. Like I really think I do because I just like will film when I'm not like when other vloggers or whatever would just not film. Okay. Because that's just how I do it. So it just sucks that like you guys start talking shit. You know what I mean? That is not real shit. Like you're lying. So that's the part that bothers me the most about the vlogging thing because I don't want to think twice about doing it. I just want to vlog. And then the other thing too is like, I'm never going to, I'm not putting Jason in it. Like I'm just not because he doesn't deserve like, you know you guys are scrutinies and like hate and like guys are actually i think they're like they don't care but they're also like sensitive like i don't know i feel like he might get like weird not weird but like sad i mean i don't get i am used to this i also was so bullied in high like all my life basically for being fat and i had no friends so i don't care and i feel like someone who like doesn't get the internet and hasn't put themselves out there doesn't deserve it like i chose this so I don't care and I'll, I'll do it again. Whatever. I know I'm going to do. I'm going to make it even worse. That's what happens. If you come for me and you, um, and you say something about me, that's not true. It's like, I want to make it even worse. Like I'm going to, Oh really? Oh, okay. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm like very, I feel very hateful right now. I feel like I'm very like, um, I feel like if I, I feel like if I was a president right now, I'd like call war. That's what I would do. If I was a president right now, I'd call war on you and I would show you a thing or two. Um, I would show no mercy. That's the thing. I would show no mercy to you is zero tolerance policy here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but like you've pissed me off because I let you guys in. I showed you guys like I'm like, I'm very vulnerable right now because I have a fucking like a child growing in me and I don't feel well. And like my house is a fucking, I live in like a commune, like in a commune, like I live in a, like a literally cardboard box right now. And I, I'm letting you guys in on this when like no one else would do that. They were like, you know, I don't know. And like, you guys are just not like, you guys are rude. So 
<sighs> I just, I'm pissed and I wanted to address this. Um, and our, I have a list to kind of remind me of like some things to bring up in case I forget. Okay, so the last thing I talk about is yes, like I, I'm, see when I tell you like I, I know what, like I admit that I'm fat or whatever. Like yes, I admit that I'm fat. I'm even gonna show you this, so. <laughs> Um, but the thing is like, I, okay, this is my, this is a story of my life. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know, um, you guys, a lot of you guys probably have the same thing as me. I have the fat gene. Okay. Do you not understand? I have the fat gene. Um, it's like you have an ugly gene. You are very ugly. There's nothing you can do about that. And for you, you are ugly. Okay. You are ugly and dumb. You are brainless which you are very, you have shit for brains. You have shit for brains, okay? And you're also ugly. So you're not gonna do much with your life. And that is very sad for you, probably fat too. So you probably have the fat gene. For me personally, I have only the fat gene, okay? The fat gene can be worked around if you have a brain because losing weight is all about, um, like the, it's all about like, it's all mental. It's all mental. That's why it's like people who are not ready to lose weight will not lose weight until their brain clicks. I've always said that. Anyway, I, my grandmother was fat and I take after her, I feel like a lot. She's deceased, okay, anyway. So I was passed on the fat gene. I've been, I have struggled with being fat my entire life. It's a cross I have to bear. It is my cross to bear. Being smart and pretty is not a cross I have to bear. That's very easy, it comes very easy for me, okay, because I am pretty and I'm smart and um, successful. Okay, so those things are, like not my crosses to bear those may be your crosses to bear they probably are anyway back on track is this um so uh, what was i saying my back is killing me um what was i fucking saying um fuck i have to get this nail fixed Yes, I remember. Okay. So my cross to bear is, um, my cross to bear is being fat. Okay. And I'm very self-aware. Like, um, and I don't, you guys know, I don't do that shit where it's like, oh no, you look great. Oh girl, you look great. You should wear that crop top. Like, you know, that is the most evil shit. Girls are so evil. Like girls are the worst. Like, um, let's not get into, into girls. Okay. Because it makes my brain like itch. All right. Anyway, to women. So, um, my cross to bear is, is being fat. It always will be, but, um, because I'm not stupid and because I, like, I, I can get through it. Like I can get, I can lose the weight. It's just more difficult for me than like, maybe like someone who doesn't have the fat gene. Like some people out there, they'll always just be like their weight or like they're, they're, you guys are lucky. Okay. But for me, I've always had a problem with weight, like not crazy, but you guys remember like on YouTube when I was fat for a while. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't fucking matter. What I'm going to say is I'm very self-aware right now. I'm fat, but I'm weird fat. Like, this is a fat that I haven't been before. It's like, I'm telling you, it's a pregnant fat. Like, my hips are bigger. Definitely my hips are bigger. And my, like, stomach, like, I can feel on the side, like, where my butt, what's that side? Like, what's that? Your hip? Yeah, I have, like, pudge, which I usually don't. And, like, above my butt, like, in the back, like, it's more pudgy. Like, I, but then, like, my arms are, 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 are like, kind of normal not as skinny okay but it's not the worst okay it's not the worst but it's definitely anyway but that that's not the point either what i was going to say is for me i have not been strict i have not been strict okay strict 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 this is my this is my body if i divert from what my body needs if i even take one additional cornflake if i take one additional something my body will take that fucking piece of food and multiply it by 10,000 and stick those calories wherever it wants to be and i will have that's what it is i am only allowed to have a what i know what i'm allowed to eat if i divert from that the, the pounds start coming on okay i have to be strict it's it sucks it's the fat gene okay i swear to god um and that's the whole thing where the mental comes in where i have to say are you hungry or are you just eating for fun like are you really hungry because if you were hungry you would eat celery sticks and carrots not something else you know what i mean you're not hungry just stop lying but being pregnant i have not been a cow i really haven't been a cow 
but I haven't been fucking strict, okay? I have not. So that's why this is happening. Because the truth is, and I know you guys are gonna say no, the jungle mothers out there, the tits out are not gonna are gonna say no. But you don't have to gain more than like 15 pounds when you're when you're like 20 max or something. It's like actually it's like 10. That's the truth. I know you guys are gonna like have a brain fry right now. But like back in the old days, people didn't like gain that much weight. They really didn't. Nowadays we're just fat pigs. Anyway, I definitely have gained more than 10 pounds. It's probably more than 20. It's probably 20. I don't even know. I, I don't know but I'm gonna show you guys the truth. So <laughs> these are my bracelets that I wear every day. And this is the tattoo I got, you guys remember. And look at how far up. When I had this tattoo done, this was here, okay? So we can see how much fatter I've gotten and, push, and it's pushing this up so there's not room. And I'm suffocating and <laughs> it's kind of hard to wear. It's a little bit like in the morning if I'm, if I'm bloated, it's a little bit like annoying but you can see the mark from where this should be here, like starting here. So it's it's quite a bit of like <sighs> gain, um, but it is what it is. And I'm not being a pig, I'm just not being strict. Like this morning I had what I normally had and then I had like a tiny, I'm not kidding, a little tiny bowl of cereal, like it, it's tiny, probably like a quarter cup of cereal with some milk but i'm telling you right now it's those things that i do throughout the day it's not bad but it adds up and it's like but i have to because i feel sick and i do and then when i eat that i do feel better and it's like i'm just going i'm not like being the worst but i'm not being the best so and i've kind of come to terms with it unfortunately but anyway okay so that's it i wanted to just come on here and give you guys give you guys the lowdown on what the fuck's going on and I, I probably will do another rant next week but if the comments continue of the inaccuracies not of like the troll whatever if they, it's it's i told you guys it's the inaccuracies because i will be straight up with you i will be straight up with you if i could take out like guys you guys i had really remember i had, I had my tits done i had like the that i had my implants in for one year biggest mistake of my life had them taken out within a within a like after one year then I got a lift. I had the, I do, I still do have really good tits. I would show you. I would show you. They are cute. And not like a, not like a mom with their fucking child on it, milking from their tit. Not like that. No, I would show you my tits. Like I actually want to because they are really cute. And like, why not? Oh, you don't know what tits look like? Let's have a tit competition, competition because I will beat your ass. Okay. I have very nice tits. Okay. And you don't, I'm sure you don't just give me, oh my God, just let me land. Anyway. So I would, that's the thing. I don't care. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna tell you one more thing that I'm going, I'm going to, this is long. I had a huge scare when I put that vlog up last week, you guys. Oh my God. Literally. I almost fucking fainted. Okay. So I was sitting on the couch. I had just uploaded the video of the vlog. And it was the, the portion where I was trying, where you guys like said I was huge, whatever. Where I was showing you guys my H&M haul, okay? Showing you guys my H&M haul. And the thing is with some, some of my videos, I will just let it run, right? I will just let it run. When I'm doing the, um, like the try on stuff, sometimes I will let it run and like I will take my shirt off and like I forget to turn the camera off and my tits will be out. Like, and I'll remember, to, I'll like make a mental note only to edit that out, right? Just to take the tits out. <laughs> Because, okay, anyway, I literally, I put the video up and it was like 20 minutes in. I, I had been up for, it had been up for 20 minutes. I got these, the biggest hot flash, like drenched in sweat, almost died, jumped up. I, I thought that I had, I thought, cause I was like, I, I remember I was getting, I was changing when I was showing you guys the H&M haul, but I was turning off, like I was turning it off when I was changing. Sometimes in the past I didn't, sometimes I just let it go and I'll change and I'll edit it from there, which is so stupid. But I jumped up, I had like the biggest fucking scare ever. I went to the camera, I went to the, like, I put, I took it off of like live and I put it on private. And I was like looking through, I was like, I was like, I know for sure I was, I was naked in this video. I know for sure I was like, and not that I care, but like, I sh I'm sure I would have been shut down because like YouTube would have shut me down. But like, I thought I was telling myself, actually, if they did see it, like, do you really care? No. Like, but anyway, it was so scary. And there was, it was, a, it was a false alarm. It was a total false, false alarm. But oh my God, I was so fucking scared. Oh my God. Anyway, guys. Okay. I love the non rats. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will do vlogs more. I know you guys love the vlogs. Like the, the views on the vlogs are like way more, not way more, but they're just higher. Like, um, which you guys like them. 
So, um, but I will always come on here and defend myself till the end. You know, I will. Okay, bye.